Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, what I have here today is um, the Derwent Ink Tense pencils, which are water soluble, versus the Prismacolor water soluble colored pencils. Um, so these are the Prismacolor ones. These have um, the highest set they have is 36. The highest set that Derwent has is the 72. So I've got the highest number of each one that I can possibly get. So I'm going to try and come up with some comparable colors to compare them with. So let me go ahead and start with the uh, Derwent. Now, as you can see right off, um, there's a few things very different um, with these. The Prismacolor has no color on the bottom to let you know what color it is. The only way you can tell is by the um, pencil itself up here. Derwent has the colors down below, so you can see what color you're getting and easily access it. That's one big difference. Um, and that's really the main difference as far as looks, other than the color, of, of course. Um, as far as the colors go, I'm going to try and get a blue if I can. The Prismacolor one, since there's only 36, have a bit of a lower choice selection here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the Copenhagen Blue and see if they have, um, this one will probably be the closest here, and this is Iris Blue. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with these two particular ones, and I'm going to get um, another color uh, just to see here. Probably I'm going to do a green so let me see what Derwent has first. Derwent has two layers here, and the Prismacolor has three. So there's, there's our here. These are the Prismacolor ones, these three layers. Um, and so when I got them, the colors were all mixed up and everything, and so I kind of had to separate them out myself just to kind of keep the colors as closely together as possible. So I'm going to go with probably I'm going to go with grass green here. And let me see what Derwent has that would be close. Probably this one right here. This one's filled green. So grass green, filled green, it's it's um, a pretty similar color here. So I'm going to keep these two off to the side as well. Now each one of these sets comes in a tin. And like I said, the difference in the number of colors is 72 versus the 36. So I'm going to push those out of the way. And I have a little paper here. And I am putting it sideways so that I can zoom in a bit on this paper. And what I have is the Prismacolor on top and the Derwent on the bottom. So I'm going to start with the blue, and I'm going to put the Prismacolor on the top here, a nice medium coat of the Prismacolor, and I'm doing a nice medium coat of the Derwent. And right away, I can see that the Prismacolor is a softer uh, lead on here, and it it's soft, so it, it goes more on the paper than the Derwent. The, the Derwent is just a tad harder um, lead on it than the Prismacolor, so that's an immediate difference that I notice. So I'm using regular watercolor paper, and I'm using an aqua brush to test these. So I'm starting with the Prismacolor. And as you can see, I'm not spreading them out a whole lot. I'm just trying to see the coverage here and trying to see if it will leave behind any residue where I laid down the color. So let's do the Derwent. So 
So because the Prismacolor is softer, it has more of the pigment laid down on the paper. So that's why this is a little darker than this one. The colors themselves are pretty similar. So I feel comfortable saying that it is pretty much the same color on the page. Uh, the pigment, however, is more on the Prismacolor, even with the same weight of pressure that I was pushing on it, just because it is a softer lead. Um, both of them, you can see just a little bit of where I scribbled on the page. Um, this one right here, whoops. Um, this one right here, and this one right there. Um, the Prismacolor seems to um, disperse a little better, I think. Um completely my opinion here. So the next test I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the color with a wet brush and see if that works. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a clean, wet brush and I'm picking up the color and then I'm wiping it off on a paper towel before I go over it much more. And that is about as good as that one picks up color. So the Derwent picks it up fairly well. You can see the line there. Let's try out the Prismacolor. Prismacolor is having a bit more difficult time picking up the color. Um, so the Prismacolor is probably a more permanent ink. And now I'm tearing up the paper. So that is as good as the Prismacolor will pick up from an already scribbled on place. So next I'm going to wet the paper and see how it works on that. Again, starting with the Prismacolor, and I'm lightly going over this. I'm very, very light. I'm hardly putting any pressure down on the page. And I'm just gonna see how that, how that works. And again, I noticed that the Prismacolor is softer. So even though I was using the same amount of pressure the Prismacolor looks darker and looks fuller because the, the lead is softer on that particular pencil. So you can see that they're both spreading out a little bit. Not a whole lot. Prismacolor one is spreading a bit more than the Derwent. So I'm going to go ahead and take my brush again and go over it to see how it works on a wet surface. See if there's any difference. So with the lightness that I push down on the page, there isn't much movement for either one. So I'm going to go ahead and put a darker patch down, get some pigment on the page with the water and see how this works. So already you can see that the Prismacolor one is dispersing a little bit more in the page. So I'm going to go ahead and rub over it a little bit. Not much. The Derwent one, a little bit more. I would not recommend using these on wet medium. 
I would recommend using them as they are dry and then adding water because it seems like both the pigments are a bit permanent after they uh, get wet where you get them get them where you want them and they are kind of permanent so um, neither one of these are spreading out too much um, if I would have to say which one I like better on the water I would have to go with Prismacolor so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to check th the test that I feel wins each one of these comparisons I'm um, definitely the pickup test here is much better with Derwent um, the blending out on wet medium. I'm going to write that wet and pick up. Sorry, I'm writing sideways here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do another dry patch of each one. And then I'm going to blend the color between um, another color. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to start with the Derwent one down here. I'm going to do a nice heavy coat of blue. Prismacolor, a nice heavy coat of blue. And then I'm going to do a heavy coat of the grass green that I have. And we're going to mix these colors. I want to see how well they mix. And again, this is regular dry watercolor paper. So I'm going to start with the Prismacolor one and I'm going to start with the green. Wipe my brush off and go with the blue. And kind of get these mixing in together. So they mix really well. I like how they they mix. The Prisma color, you can see exactly where I laid down. I have it covered up a little bit with the ink here, but um, there's the blue and there's the green. So it's very, very obvious where I laid down the color. And that's probably more obvious because I pushed down pretty hard. So I'm going to try the same with the Derwent, starting with the green. And there's a lot of pigment on this paper for the Derwent, more so than um, the Prismacolor. And I'm just trying to get that off the page as much as I can. Wiping off my brush now. And then I go with the blue. So I am mixing each, each one of these I've mixed separately. After I've mixed them separately, then I will blend them together. So they each mix really well. Um, again, you can see where I laid down on these. Not as much as you can see it in the Prismacolor, though. Um, there's the blue, and there's the green. So if you're going to use these, I would say use... Um, I'm going to do this one as a tie. Because... You can see both of them. The pigment is dark on both of them. The colors are slightly different because the colors of the pencils are slightly different different from each other. So here's what I would conclude from this little experiment. I would say use medium weight pressure. Use it on dry paper. And that's, that's what I would say. Dry paper, medium weight pressure. Uh, for the pencils. Um, as far as which one I personally like better, I personally like the Derwent better because it has more colors. It has the 72 versus the 36 and I use, I will be using these pencils as watercolor tools. So having the versatility to pick up the color um, is very important to me and that's why I would say I like the Derwent better 
um, just because they seem to be more like watercolor than the Prismacolor. However, I did like the Prismacolor because it is a softer lead and you get more pigment down with a softer touch of your hand. Um, overall, I would say I like the Derwent better. Either one of these brands are going to be really, really good. So um, this was just a little experiment to see and to show you guys how they work um, and what might be best for you. So thank you for watching, and I hope this helps somebody out there and at least gives them a bit more information. And thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.